what's on the bench today. Well, I'm working on doing the final setup on uh, this 1935-ish resonator guitar. There's a date inside of it that says 1935, so we're just going to call it 1935. Um, I believe it's a Regal-made uh, Dobro brand, um, but I'm not 100% on that. It looks very much like my Regal, uh, except the cone cover is different. Um, but, uh, yeah, the action is pretty darn low. And of course it gets a little higher the farther you go because of the drop off of the neck, but it's very playable now. And, uh, I'm waiting on some, uh, 10 gauge, um, acoustic guitar strings. All I had was electric guitars in strings in tens. So that's what I put on it right now. So the tension's actually a little too loose and uh, doesn't quite uh, give the action that it should. But man, this thing compared to when it came in turned out great. And uh, all these holes are, uh, you, can, you can unscrew them if you need to because they, uh, uh, they all have some wood in there now to uh, to grip onto the uh, screws that uh, went in here were all wallered out in the wrong screws uh, I didn't quite have the right screws but uh, the right era of screws I should say but I did have the uh, uh, screws that would fit that after I plugged the holes so that's the tail piece is nice and solid now I had a wood strap button that, uh, an ebony strap button that is era correct of it. Um, as you can see, I had to actually make shims to go in here because of a previous neck reset that wasn't right. And uh, I don't know if you can see those or not, but uh, anyway, um, got that fixed. Now, I did this a little bit differently sometimes you can uh, make a shim to go underneath the fretboard so you don't get the fall off. On a guitar like this, it's probably gonna get played mostly with slide anyway, so I wasn't too worried about that. So starting here at the 12th, you got fall off. You can still play it up here and it's still intonated, but uh, it's a much higher action up here above the 12th. Again, not, not really gonna matter that much, I don't think. Uh, it's got the brass frets in there, just like it should have. Uh, this one was a little bit high, still got to get some of that red off of there. I um, think I've got second fret is a little bit high, uh, judging by the way it plays. So I'm going to go back through that again. Uh, this is a, I'm working on the nut right now. I've just about got it to the point to where I want it as far as uh, being low enough, but uh, yeah, super cool guitar. I'm gonna clean it all up, make it uh, make it look nice again, um, get all my dirty paw prints off of it and everything, and get it ready to go back to the customer. Anyway, just wanted to kind of give a little update on this thing. I haven't done a video. Resonators really ring out. But uh, anyway, yeah, I hadn't done a video in uh, in a few days, so thought I would do that. Also got something else to show you guys. All right, the final coats of lacquer are on the Lester, and uh, it's got a nice sheen to it. Uh, it's starting to uh, level out nicely. The uh, lacquer, you know, kind of sprays a little orange peely sometimes, but it always levels itself out. It's basically a self-leveling paint, uh, which is nice. And then... All three Beetle Kill Pine guitars have clear on them now. And I just shot the, uh, uh, finished shooting the uh, clear on the Tele style, or Commander as I call them, uh, yesterday. And so it's uh, got, a, got a cure also. But uh, yeah, these will be ready to throw frets in and start assembling here real soon, get, uh, get buffed out a little bit and uh, then uh, polished and assembled. Same with this one, uh, it's getting close. Uh, lacquer's gotta sit a little bit longer than the, uh, the urethane that I used on these, but uh, yeah, getting closer. So just thought I would throw that in there. Man, is that thing pretty.
All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And remember, if you need any kind of uh, vintage guitar repairs or work, uh, contact me, shoemakerguitarworks at gmail.com, and I'd be glad to help you out. Have a great day.